Bless the Lord, warriors of God. Derek, then we're praying for America and time spent with the word. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask, oh God, right now, that before we even pray for this nation, that you will create in us a clean heart, oh God, and renew a right spirit within us. Cast us not away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit away from us, God. Restore to us the joy of your salvation. Father God, as you pray for our hearts, our minds, our thoughts, our hearings, our visions, our tongue, our lips, Father God, you have permission to cleanse us, wash us, just purify us entirely with the precious blood of Jesus Christ on this morning, dear God. This nation needs a cleansing. This nation needs a purifying, Father God. But before the cleansing and purifying can take place in the nation, it starts with us, the church. And this is why we're asking you, I'm asking you this morning, God, that you will create in me a clean heart, create in us a clean heart, Father God, as we are willing and obedient, give us the grace to, Father God, eat the good of the land in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. The book of Exodus, um, excuse me, Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter number 22. You know what? Hold on. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Woo, this is really good. This is so good. This is so good. All right, then. All right, all right. Okay, Lord. So, yeah, we're going to go to Exodus because that's the first word that came out of my mouth after that. So, I'm going to obey and I'm going to come out of Exodus chapter number 30. And <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm reading verse number 30, and it says, Anoint Aaron and his sons and consecrate them so they may serve me as priests. <laughs> Woo, say to the Israelites, This is to be my sacred anointing oil for the generations to come. Wow. Hallelujah. Masara matoko tore de kishikiria no saramandere te kishikuria sita. There is something about the anointing, and therefore the Lord is going to anoint us this day afresh. So, Father God, we lift up our hands and surrender, Lord God. Father God, we yield and we say, Holy Spirit, pour out the fresh oil from the top of our heads. Let it, Father God, just run down as it did from Aaron's head, his beard, all the way down to the body. And then bring us in love and unity, God, to stand, Father God, in unison, praying, Father, for the nation that you have given us the grace to live in. And so, Father God, even as you have changed the trajectory of this praying for America this morning, we were going to go to one scripture, Father God, and you switch it over. And, Father God, we obey because there is something about the priests. Mm. coming and taking their rightful place. And the priests, the men, the mighty men of valor, the mighty men of war, the mighty men of God, the priests of the household, Father God. I pray for the priests this morning. I pray for the men of every household around this nation. I pray, Father God, that the men across this nation would take their rightful place as priests of their household, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that the men would take their place, Father God, to be the keepers, the leaders of the home, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, bringing us the family before the throne of grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray you would give the men the strength that they need to do the work that you have called them to do. Because, Father God, when the men have taken their rightful position as priests within the home, as priests within the nation, then, Father God, everything else will fall into place. Why? Because Jesus Christ is the head of the church, and the men are heads of the families. So, Father God, I'm praying, because when the men begin to rise up and take their places, then men will not be behaving like women in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Holy Spirit of the living God, I am praying right now in Jesus' name that the men across this nation, the fathers, the grandfathers, the great-great-grandfathers, God, that are still alive, the husbands, the brothers, the sons, Father would take their places in Jesus' name, that the men will begin to rise up and begin to be the fathers to their children. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to be the husbands to their wives. In the mighty name of Jesus, that they will lead 
the family, lead the home, Father God, and take their authority in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. And I come against the spirit of Jezebel that will want to manipulate and control the men. Father God, we cast that down and every imagination that goes along with it in Jesus Christ's name. And I pray your blessing upon the men. I pray your blessing upon the husbands, the fathers, the sons, the, the nephews, God. I pray your grace will cover the men in the name of Jesus Christ. Because, Father, even as we pray for this nation, the men in authority, Father God, the ones you have placed in authority and the ones who put themselves in authority, I'm asking you, Father, in Jesus' name, to keep a hedge of protection around those whom you have called and those who have forced themselves into authority. Father God, you give them that which they have. That which they have sown. Because you said in your word, a man reaps what he sows. And so, Father, in the process of this, I'm asking you to cover the men across this nation. In Jesus Christ's name, I thank you and I praise you. And yes, even in the church, in the, in, in the places of worship, that the men will rise up and the men will take their rightful place. Jesus Christ was the head of the church, the head of the body, and the men put in charge of the household, the families. Give the men the grace to be men, mighty men of war, mighty men of valor, the fathers that we so desperately need, the husbands that we so desperately need, the, the, the uncles that we so desperately need, the grandfathers that we so desperately need. In the name of Jesus Christ, the leaders that we so desperately need, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And I bless your name for this this morning. Because the men will rise up, the men will be anointed as the priests of their household, and they would take their rightful place in the name of God the Father across this nation. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, and the Ruha Kadesh, the breath of God, breathe and blow even on this praying for America right now. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. The Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and me. Until the next time, shalom.